All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Lead series season is finally over. I shouldn't say finally, I'm pretty sad to see it be over. We got nothing to do now until like February of next year. So I'm gonna take y'all through the rods that I use the most this year. These are the ones that bailed me out in every single tournament. These are the ones I caught the majority of the fish on. Now this is not every single bait and rod that I caught every fish on, but this is the ones that I had on the front deck the most this year and I caught the most fish consistently on. So if you wanna start a, you know, uh, uh, just a few rods or a few baits that you want to develop confidence in. These are the ones that I went from Florida to New York and then down to Texas and caught fish on consistently. So without further ado, I'm going to show you all the rods. I'm going to show you all the line, everything that I used exactly for each setup. So y'all already know which one that I like to throw the most. I kept this sucker on the front deck all the time, caught fish on it on the very first event from St. John's all the way down to Santee, caught some up north on it, caught, uh, didn't catch any in Texas on it, but caught some on, uh, Chickamauga on it all over the country. I call fish on this consistently. And this is a seven foot six heavy, fast point blank rod blank that I built myself. This is a, you know, 8.2 to one gear ratio reel, 60 pound K9 eight strand braids, what I used all year for a frog. And then obviously Spro popping frog, just a standard frog that I've used, you know, all over the country for years and years and years. This one happens to be white. That's what I had on for Lake Fork. And I did have some bites on that, but none in the tournament. Didn't even throw it in the tournament area. Took it out of the rod box, but that's it. That is the frog rod that I throw. I did upsize the handle on this, on this reel to give me just a little more power. And so I didn't bust my knuckles quite as much on the hook set, but that's my frog rod. 7.6 heavy, 60 pound K9, nine strand. That's actually 60 pound K9, eight strand braid. And all my dang five, it's number five guides I put on this rod. So absolutely in love with this rod. It's my frog set up right there. All right, straight to another one that y'all see me throw all the dang time. This is the exact chatterbait that I was throwing on Guntersville. This is a Z-Man jackhammer chatterbait. And I throw this on a seven to one gear ratio reel. This is a seven foot three medium, heavy, fast point blank that I built. I put all titanium guides on this one and you see i've got the hook keeper there for the that's the kind of hook keeper i like for reaction baits that have open hook like that so this is a green pumpkin jackhammer i throw this thing you know the white one green pumpkin black and blue whatever i had a chatterbait laying on the front deck all the time and i'm not sponsored by any other brand so i can say a chatterbait a lot of the guys have to call it a vibrating jig but that's just a green pumpkin jackhammer right there with a yamato zacco 20 pound fluorocarbon on here this fluorocarbon is 20 pound but it's a 0 0.370 diameter that's the one that I threw all the time. Seven to one gear ratio reel, seven three medium heavy. I like the, the faster action rod because it helps me skip this bait a little bit better, get it in there a little bit quieter, and I don't have any problems losing fish on it. So that's my chatterbait setup. Took this sucker all over the country and caught fish on it. You know, from big smallmouth, four pound smallmouth on a chatterbait, all the way down to St. John's, caught some on chatterbait, and then in Texas and Gunnersville, everywhere, caught some fish on, on a dang vibrating jig. Now, this is the one if I could just pick up one rod for the rest of the year or for every year, this would be it right here. This is the seven foot six heavy fast point blank flipping rod. This has all titanium guides on it. This is an 8.2 to one gear ratio reel. It has 25 pound fluorocarbon on it. That's my standard on here is 25 pound, you know, a really high quality fluorocarbon. My standard flipping rod that I leave on the front deck at all times is a half ounce weight pegged to a four alt gamakatsu you know, just a regular heavy cover flipping hook. And then this right here happens to be a Missile Baits D-bomb in green pumpkin, but this is just a seven, six, heavy, fast, 25 pound fluorocarbon. It'll get them out of heavy cover and it gets bites when it's tough. It's just a really, it's a confidence bait for me. Caught a ton of fish in like every single event. I caught a couple of fish doing this exact technique right here. So it's one of my favorites right there. Always, always, always on the front deck. Now, Here's one that whenever it gets tough, I always throw. St. John's, it was tough. Gunnersville, Chickamauga, Santee Cooper, up north, everywhere where I went, I caught fish on this next one. Pretty simple. It's the dumbest way to fish. It is just an eighth ounce Texas rig pegged with, that is a three alt G finesse, you know, flipping hook. It, that's the small one. I don't even remember what this hook is exactly called, but it's a three alt G finesse uh, tournament grade flipping hook, something like that. And that's the one, you don't lose many fish on this hook right here at all. This sucker is phenomenal. Every time I hook one, it's just perfect. St. John's, that's one I was throwing a lot. That This is the exact worm I was throwing on Lake Fork not long ago. And this is on a seven foot three heavy point blank rod that, that I 
that I, you know, built myself. Obviously, I built all of them myself. I've got this type of a hook keeper on here because I like to be able to rig my baits like, like I do and then just slide it up on that hook keeper and I don't have to worry about taking it out of the plastic or anything like that. These are reaction baits. I use the standard, more of a D loop hook keeper. Now this is an 8.2 to 1 gear ratio reel, 20 pound fluorocarbon. Again, it's a 0.37 fluorocarbon. Relatively thin, but still pretty strong fluorocarbon. That's the one I throw for this more finesse application. And like I said, seven foot, foot, foot three heavy, all titanium guides on this one. And pretty much in love with this rod, this reel, and this setup has bailed me out more times than one. I don't, I wouldn't even, even have ever qualified for the elites without throwing that setup right there. I caught them on every single tournament that I fished last year on that same exact setup. And every single tournament this year, seems I've caught some on it as well. Now, we did have some Northern Swing events this year, and on both of those, this is one of the baits that I really leaned on the most. This is just a drop shot, obviously. That's gonna be the big smallmouth player right there. That is a one alt Gamakatsu G Finesse uh, hook with the 10 keeper. That's the one that I throw the most up there. This is a 3 8 ounce Titan Tungsten weight. This is what I was throwing on St. On St. Clair. On St. Lawrence, I was using a half ounce, but I've got 20 pound, Hope the wind's not killing y'all too much, but I got 20 pound. You can see it's actually over the spool right there. Rookie move right there. But this is 20 pound K9 white braid tied to an eight pound fluorocarbon leader. That's what I was throwing most of the time. On St. Lawrence, I would use a half ounce weight and a longer leader. On St. Clair, I was using a three ounce weight and a little bit shorter leader. So this is a seven foot medium light fast spinning rod but this rod actually has a little bit more power than most of your medium lights this is actually more like a medium spin rod and this has all titanium guides on it it's got the kr concept fujis on it the point blank rod this is a seven foot medium light like i said i built this myself built all of myself and you can see the hook keeper that i have on here that's a little drop shot hook keeper that i like just like that put my weight down and i've got you know a weedless application it's a 2500 size reel that's the size that i like it's just small really light it's got a little bit slower gear ratio than the 3000 hg does or the 3000 actually comes in an xg i believe but this is the one that i like i just love this size reel feels really good in my hand this this setup is so light i just fall in love with it you know it's hard not to want to throw something that feels this dang good but that's it probably gonna be one of the last videos right there regarding the bass master elite series so once again i need to thank my sponsors alliance insurance group untamed tackle fuji point blank like i just gave them a lot of love right there top fishing deal has been a good one titan tungsten thank you all y'all jmt machine machine shops up there strikers on the outside of the boat we've got all kind of people that will show support a lot of them are coming back next year just need to give another shout out to them i appreciate it guys hope you enjoyed this video that's the rods I took all over the country. If you want a place to start, if you want to travel a lot and fish, those will be some good bases to cover right there. So hope you all enjoyed that one. We'll see you on the next one. Hit that subscribe button and check back because we're about to go bank fishing with the chesty on right now. If you want to see that, hit that subscribe button. We'll see y'all.